What's up guys, Ryzen34 back with another video. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about what all went on with the Dark Duel Stories game. You guys saw the video two days ago. I opened it up and there was nothing in there and it just cut off. I didn't explain anything. It was just, I didn't get the promos. I was bummed and I posted the video. So I was out of town, so I couldn't post this video the next day. Also, we hit 25,000, so I promised 25,000, so we got to do that. So now, today, we can talk about the DDS game. First of all, how did I acquire this game? That's the most, the biggest question. I read some of the comments, and I just couldn't read, I couldn't read all the comments. It was too painful. It was either people telling me all the reasons I should have known it was resealed, or, you know, they were saying sorry, which was cool. I appreciate all you guys that were like, sorry, you got scammed. And, or, or just completely assuming that it was a scam, or that the seller resealed it, you know, etc. So, or trying to figure out who the seller was, which I didn't want to happen. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys who the seller was, how I acquired it, and how the scam happened. I'm not totally sure, but we're going to just start off from the beginning. So, I d decided that I wanted a Dark Duel Stories game, like, several months ago. And there was one available, and I was talking to my friend... Sassiato on eBay. So a lot of you guys had posted him below, like, oh, Sassiato. Hope it wasn't Sassiato. Okay, Sassiato, first of all, did not reseal the game. I'm going to let you guys know that. So I was talking to him about getting the game, and he had he had showed me the weight of this game when you weigh it was 3.06. I think that's, what is that in? Grams, ounces, I don't know. Whatever the right measurement is. It was 3.06, and he was like, well, the seal looks really good. And by the way, a lot of you guys were like, that seal looked terrible. This was a legit a legit H-seam seal from a lot of people I've asked. H-seam is where it comes across. Those are very, I've heard impossible to replicate or at least very difficult. So when it has that line coming across, that is an H-seam and those are usually completely legit. So we both saw that seal and we're like, okay, this thing looks really good. The, diff the only thing is the weight. Usually his other copy had like a 3.27 weight, the difference of about 0.2, which could be cards. So... He had told me that, and I just didn't get the game at that time because I didn't have the money. It was it was the same price. It was six thousand five hundred dollars, so I didn't get it. And then another friend of mine bought the game from him, and he but he didn't pay it all up front. He had a kind of a payment plan with him, so he had agreed to pay six thousand five hundred, and so he started paying it off. You know, this was a couple months ago. So about last week, I think I decided, you know what, I kind of want a Dark Duel Stories game, like, and I actually have I have the money this time. Last time I didn't have the money, so I. I messaged a bunch of people that I knew had one, and I messaged my buddy, and I said, hey, you want to get rid of that Dark Duel Stories game? He hadn't even bought it yet. It was still in Sassiato's possession. He had paid off $4,750, so he still owed $1,750 on it. And I was like, you want to get rid of it? And he was like, sure, dude. I was just getting it for some for some trade, you know, trade bait or whatever to trade to somebody. And I was like, really? You don't want anything? So what happened was we I agreed with him that I would send him my Guardian Yato, it's my PSA 10 that I just graded, for a $2,500 value, which I which I would value higher normally, but because he was giving me the same deal he got on what he purchased, we agreed we could do a little bit lower on the Yatos. And then I agreed I would pay off the rest to Sassiato on the guy from eBay. I would pay the $1,750 that he owed, and then there would be a $2,250 that I still uh, owed the other guy who I gave the Yatos. So what happened was we all agreed on that trade. It was like a three-person trade. That's why when all you guys were asking me, did you get a refund? It was complicated because there I could I didn't just pay sixty five hundred and he refunded me sixty five hundred. It just didn't work like that because there was three different people involved. So we agreed on that. I got the game. Obviously, I recorded the mail video, which was going to be just its own video. Then I decided, you know what? Let me let's just open it up. Let's just see and make sure you know everything's good here. And I'll post it later. You know, I'm going to post the opening part later. When I opened it, there was nothing in there. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll put it all in one video. And we got to figure out what to do with this game. So I messaged Sassiato because technically it wasn't from him. It was from my other friend who was sending it to me. But Sassiato had originally had it. So we were trying to figure out if he knew who had resealed it or whatever. And then the other guy was going to want a refund too. So we all ended up discussing what to do about this because there's no, you know, there's no foils inside. So he ended up agreeing. To I think he gave me he said he would give me a credit because I usually get by the way every time I get a new release I get it from Sassiato so if you guys are interested in new release you guys always ask where do I get my cases where do I get all my new product it's from Sassiato every time so I'm just telling you guys Sassiato had nothing to do with this being resealed he, he bought it from a different guy 
So it could have been that guy. It could have been the guy before him. You know, there's just you when when something is resealed, if it was even resealed, the thing is, there's been so many opinions. I'm not sure which, but it was probably not him, not the guy before him, maybe not the guy before him. It could have been a guy like four times ago, if that was a reseal, because that reseal was super legit. I've had a lot of opinions say they don't think it was resealed. They think it was just a factory error because I got a message on eBay. A guy told me he bought five of these back in the day. He opened five of them and he only had, he had four of them have promos. The other one didn't. Then I had another guy tell me that he opened the different version of this game, the one with the the pink dragon, and it had no foils. Think about that. That that card is basically worthless. So why would someone reseal a game just to have the pink version? So that's a little bit like, okay, maybe there is the factory error. There's a couple of people who've experienced it. So it's possible it's a factory error. It's possible it was an, an advanced reseal. You know, it could have been that. But the H scene looked really good to me. I don't know. So I don't know if it was or not. But Sassy Hato, being the great seller he is, by the way, I don't want anyone to be slandering him because obviously he did not know about this. He agreed to give me a credit for future products of $17.50. That's what I paid him. Me and the other guy undid our trade for the Iatos. He then sent that guy the two DDS cards that he had purchased or something like that. I don't even remember what their deal was. But he basically took the almost the whole hit for this, which is incredible and terrible for him. So I just I said, look, I know this isn't really a big deal, but he he, he said he'd give me $17.50. I just said, just go ahead and give me uh, a case of gold and then like it was like two cases of the of the December set with the collector's rares and then I'll pay you off a little bit more so you don't have to take the full brunt and I also said look I want to shout you out on the channel so that people can buy your cases because this dude just took a six thousand five hundred dollar hit basically um, maybe like six thousand three hundred after I changed up my thing so he took about a six thousand three hundred dollar hit which is just, I mean, that's tough, guys. So, like, you guys felt bad for me, but he pretty much made me whole, but he did not, he is not. He took the whole hit. So, he said he has a lot of gold cases, maximum gold cases available, so make sure you guys go check out his eBay. I'm going to link it down below, and go buy some gold cases if you need them. He still has a lot available. It would really help him out, because he didn't resell this game, and I'm not sure anybody did. It's possible somebody did, but the key to this video... We don't know if it's a reseal. You may think you know for sure. A lot of you guys in the comments thought you knew for sure. You're telling me all these reasons that it was definitely resealed. But once you see a video and you know it's a scam video, you're looking for some reason for it to be a scam. But otherwise, you wouldn't have known. I mean, it's just no way to know. So the important thing about this game, if you're going to buy a Dark Duel Story sealed game, you need to weigh it. It should weigh about 3.27, not 3.06. If it's around 3.06, you might not have the cards. It's possible you could be missing like a booklet or something. I don't know, but there's a good chance you don't have the cards, whether it's a factory error, whether it's a reseal. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not an expert, but you guys definitely need to weigh your games if you're going to buy it or if you have one in your possession. Make sure you, this thing weighs the appropriate amount. Otherwise, you might want to crack it and see it, which is kind of a bummer because the, the whole sealed game is the kind of the point. Or maybe you just want to keep it sealed because you just want it for the actual sealed aspect then just leave it sealed. But when you when you sell or buy, you need to be checking out what the weight is. That's all I can really say for this video. That's all I have. That's what happened. I am pretty much refunded, so we're good here. But Sassiato is not. So I would appreciate it if you guys go check out his link down below for his eBay store. Go buy some of his maximum gold cases, some of his other listings, because he's out six over $6,000, which is a real bummer. And I really appreciate him just basically refunding me. I mean, either way, it's just tough. It's tough to stomach having to take that kind of a loss because he did he did tell me the weight ahead of time, Not, but we both thought there's no way. There's no way there's no cards in there, you know, because we hadn't heard of it at that point. So make sure you guys go check him out. I appreciate all you guys that do that. That would be great. That's it for this. That's it for the Dark Duel stories, you know, drama, I guess. It wasn't really drama. I was never really mad at him because I knew it wasn't on purpose because we've done so much business. It's always been great. So I thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow we're going to be opening up 24 Invasion of Chaos packs. Maybe we'll pull something cool. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes! Okay, you... oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! Ha!